Hello everyone, my name is Swanian and welcome back to another episode of Honkai Impact. So, there has been a lot of things that is going on between uh, this episode and the last episode. I actually tried to level up the dorm. So, unlike in the first episode, the dorm right now, oh actually they want to talk to me. Oh, thank you. So sometimes you can actually click on the characters in the dorm so, so that they can give you some gifts. In this case, the gift is actually just some fragments that you can actually use to buy some furnitures. But here we are in the dorm. Uh, it's kind of like a classic, you know, dorm settings, right? There is like a bed here. There is like some bookshelves and then some TV, probably some fridge. No, I do not have a fridge in my dorm. And yeah, there is nothing much. Uh, yeah, I've been unlocking a lot of characters as well. So you might have seen I have Mei, I have Kiana from the very beginning of the game, and also we have Bronya. But I've been getting like a lot of characters. I got Seal, which is right now stands at my main DPS because she deals like a crazy amount of damage for this level. Um, and then I also unlock Fuhua. Also another Bronya. So this is the second armor for Bronya, which is a Yamabuki armor. And yeah, I also unlock Ye Sakura uh, armor. But the most important part is that I managed to unlock. Yes, Hershey of the Void. But yeah, I think that's all that I need to tell you guys. As for what we're going to do today, we're going to continue with the reading order. But this time around, we're go we're not going to play the main story yet. We're going to play Chronicles. So, Chronicles is more of a, a personalized story. So the next thing on the list is we're going to explore this one, which is... This is going to be Teresa's uh, story. A310, a young girl born in the laboratory. In order to survive, she must keep fighting, showing her worth to others. But is that really the meaning behind her efforts to survive? Hmm, where is this place? Who am I? Waking up in a pattered dish, the girl opens her eyes and see the world she is for the first time. Temme,はるか昔より崩壊と戦う組織。その組織を支えるのは三つの一族。主教を司る、アポカリプス一族。聖女を司る、カスラナ一族。騎士を司る、カスラナ一族。天命組織を統御するアポカリプス一族は。他の一族と違い、崩壊と戦える力を持っていなかった。崩壊に対抗できる力をその手に入れるため、1972年天命組織の主教アポカリプス一族の課長オットーアポカリプスは秘密の計画を始めた。Where is this? Who am I? That subject A310 is born. The test is a success. All vital signs are normal. Honkai adaptability at 69%. Nice. Hmm, that's rather strange. A310? Is that my name? Who are you? Voice recognition and communication capability at birth? This test subject is unlike the others. She wants to know her name. Has she really become conscious of her own existence? A310, if you pass my trial, I'll tell you my name and I'll give you a name. Give me a name? That will be all. Remember, you must fight to get the things you want. Losing the fight will cost you everything. Only one of you may live. What? What do you mean only one of you? Are we going to fight our clones? Alright. All right. Yeah! My hand! Test subject 8310 successfully defeated the Honkai Chariot. Time spent 30 seconds. No other wounds apart from the broken right arm. Impressive data. Please help! My right heart is torn open! It's hurting! Subject can feel pain. Further adjustments will be required. 8310, your arm is already healing. Healing? My hand! It's healing! Slowly. I can move it now, but why? Your body contains cells of an advanced Honkai beast. That Honkai beast had powerful regenerative skills, so now you have it too. Are you saying that I'm also a monster? No, of course not. You inherited the genes of the greatest Valkyries who ever lived. 
combined with the might of powerful Honkai beasts. You're a next-gen human, a new breed. So, apparently, Teresa is part Honkai beast and part human? Yeah, that's actually quite freaky. In the past model, A1 and A2, Kellen's DNA was all that was used in the test subjects. However, the test subjects all melted away and died within the first five minutes they were born. In the experiments, we added cells of hybrid-type Honkai beast, Fisnu. All A2 prototypes could not continue growing up until they reached 12 years old in physical age. However, they all survived after leaving the cultivation pods. Oh. My body is more agile. I don't fear these monsters anymore. Terrific. The combat stands. Such a steadfast courage. It's simply majestic. I almost saw Kalan in you. Kalan? Kalan Kaslana. She was the donor of your genes. She was the greatest Falkyrie who ever lived. I don't know what you're saying, but when you mentioned Kalan, you sounded so gentle. Those worlds feel really warm to me. A310, you are a strange individual. Other test subjects experience fear and even hatred against me, their creator. Only you describe me as gentle. You reminded me of Kalan again and again. Perhaps her soul rests within you. Soul? What's a soul? Do I have a soul? Of course you do, A310. I really hope a synthetic humans like you can have a soul. That will be the final trial. My vat grown beauty. Chris A my god. I, don't, I have no idea that Terry Terry actually has like a very very cruel backstory. A310, you'll be facing the final trial. The person in the other room? Why is she? That's the test subject A303. She is an exact copy of you. You are the only two survivors of this batch. Kill her and complete the trials, then you'll earn your name. But that's another human! I won't kill a human! I can't do it! Only one of you will remain standing. If you will not kill her, then she will kill you. I'd prefer if you live, since you're more like Kalan to me. Alright, do not hesitate. It will only get you killed. Wait, I... I won't kill anyone! Wow. Oh my lord, it's actually really m me. There you go. Yeah, it's nothing personal, kid. There you go. A310 was merciful and let A303 go. So powerful, yet so gentle. I was in a daze. Almost thought that A310 was an incarnation of Kalan. But reincarnation isn't something that can be explained by science, is it? That's right. There is no evidence to prove that A310 is in any way connected to Kalan. But A310 is definitely special. I've decided to adopt her as my granddaughter. I'll call her Teresa. Hmm, what kind of like twisted experiment is this? Having earned her name, Teresa follows her heart and becomes a Valkyrie. She is now on her first mission ever. b rank Valkyrie Teresa of the Overseer's Guard is coming to battle. Far Eastern Branch Valkyrie Squad 1, Commander, a rank Valkyrie, Kali coming. An identified giant Honkai beast was found 10 hours ago. It is, has been labeled as Parvati. My squad is heading to the target's location in a seek and destroy operation. Roger, send me the coordinates. I'm joining the battle. I thought the Overseer's Guards would be an elite force. Never expected you to be a kid. What are the higher ups thinking? Damn it. Teresa, don't push yourself too hard. Retreat is always an option. Thank you. I'll be careful. Alright. There you go. Teresa, how did you like your first battle? I was a bit nervous, but when I learned I'm fighting alongside other Valkyries, my fear simply left me. The commander was really nice to me. You could have led a happy life as a member of House Apocalypse. 
I don't understand why you insist on heading to the battlefield. I'll be alright, Grandpa. I feel really happy knowing that I can protect others. Protect others. It does sound like something she'd say. Alright, have it your way. Grandpa will look after you. Okay. This is the day Teresa will have her first battle against the Honkai Beast. Luckily, it's just a chariot level Honkai Beast. I've checked her equipment throughoutly. I've also placed Bitter Grout Grau Juice, her favorite, in her supplies. I've washed her tunic nicely as well. <sighs> Am I doting on her too much? Is this like the real date? 1973? Is that the year? I know like I know like Terry Terry is about like 40 years old, but yeah, I guess that checks out. Oh, server. Nope. <laughs> That's it. Oh my lord. Far East Squad 11, Commander Kel reporting. Perfati has been located. Hold on. Targets Honkai reading are rising. Its rating is... Miss Kelly? Miss Kelly? Comlings have been severed. What's going on? Teresa, the mission has been aborted. Head to the extraction point. Why, Grandpa? Valkyries who engaged Parvati has sent back data. It's an Emperor class Honkai beast. Oh god. Our intel team got it wrong from the start. Emperor class? But Miss Kali's troops have engaged Parvati. Kali's Far East Squad 1 comprised 1 A rank and 5 B rank Valkyries. They are no match for Parvati. It's only a matter of time before their defeat. Why? There is a retreat immediately. You cannot afford to face the Emperor Class Beast. Don't worry. I will launch an N2 missile to destroy the beast in 10 minutes. What about the Valkyries fighting Parvati? The mission, oh, the, mis the missile will be the best solution. As for the Valkyries, all Valkyries should be ready to give up their lives at any moment. No! No way! I must go and save them! Wait, there is a retreat now! That's an order! Sorry, Grandpa! Okay, I can understand why people hate Otto now. Damn it! Is this the end? Miss Kali, I'm here to help! Teresa? Don't get any closer! This Parvati is too powerful! My squad can delay it! Get away from this place! They will be launching an atomic weapon soon! You don't have to die in pain! No! I will not let anyone die in pain! Whenever I close my eyes, I can hear her whispering about the covenant she made with me. She wants me to protect everyone. Let me fulfill this promise! Oh yep, it's a Parvati, alright. Oh, this guy again. Oh, that guy is gone. その人間らしさから運よく生き延びテレサという名前を手に入れた。1973年12月24日、バルバーティ作戦。B9バルキリーテレサは初めての戦いに参戦した。So I guess this is act 3 now. Enlightenment. A plan has been made. Teresa decided to take Kiana and leave Shiksal, the very organization that had sacrificed her close friend's life for good. Teresa it's time. Time to make a ruckus. This will give Secret enough time to run away with Kiana. We'll rendezvous in the mountains to the east where things settle down. Teresa, what are you doing? What? You found me out! Sorry, Grandpa. I'm leaving Shiksal. Because of Cecilia? You should know casualties are inevitable in the Honkai War. Then why did you order me to retreat when fighting? I could have fought the sweet Cecilia. I won't regret it even if I died. You're special, Teresa. You're my darling granddaughter. I will not let you die like that. But that doesn't mean you can sacrifice others. Well, I have a voice in my head telling me to protect others no matter the cost. I don't care if I have to die for that. 
Cecilia was my best friend. I will not forgive anyone who killed her. Not even Grandpa. Oh, hello there. Lugo. There you go. I'm almost out of Sigsal, but I can't contact Siegfried at all. It better not make a mistake this time. Could it be? That is a stop fooling around. Come back. Never! I won't change my mind. Not even for Kiana. What? You know about Siegfried's actions? I can see right through your plans. I've sent a team after Siegfried when he left. They probably caught him already. Don't worry, I won't hurt your knees. No! I must leave this place and help Siegfried! Okay. Oh, this is actually the first time I actually have like a teammate. Instead of like switching between teammates, right? I didn't think Cecilia's death would upset Teresa so much. So much as she hate me now. But I guess it's meant to be. Remember that time when I sacrificed the civilians to save Kalen? That pissed her off too. She even slapped me. Maybe it is Kalen's soul that is in Teresa's blood. No, it can't be. That'd be crazy. This was Siegfried's location before we lost contact. But I don't see anyone. You won't find them, Teresa. The team managed to catch up to Siegfried 10 minutes ago. He escaped, but... But what? How is Kiana? Kiana's wounded. She's been treated at HQ. How did that happen? Your foolish plan has fallen apart, Teresa. Return to Shiksal. This is the only way I can keep Kiana safe. Do we going to believe that? I don't think so. Uh, oh my lord, we have to fight a battleship. Okay, that battleship is just gone. Though Siegfried and Test Subject K423 escape, Kiana was retrieved. The only thing that bothers me is that why would Siegfried want to take away Test Subject K423? Hmm, could it have to do with those guys that call themselves the Anti Entropy? Wait, so that is like the real Kiana and K423 is a clone? So Siegfried managed to escape, but Auto Apocalypse intercepts Kiana. Now Kiana's life is at stake. Teresa has a choice to make. Teresa had to stay in Sexo. She put in a quest to leave the headquarters and be transferred to the Far East branch. And then, she demanded that a school be built in the Far East, each far east branch to train Valkyries, St. Freya High School. She wanted to train Valkyries who, rather than be manipulated and used, would sacrifice their lives. Hmm, how naive. Okay, so I think this is the last part of her mission. Here's where the Shiksa lab stores classified documents, including a large number of experimental data and other related documents. Oh, what is this? A hypostasis? Wait, this is Genshin Impact's enemy. Oh, what the? Okay. Stellate Polyhedron. Okay, that's a hypostasis battle right there. A310 is a true miracle. Amongst the 260 test subjects from series A through E, only A310 has full cognitive abilities. What's more, I can feel Kellen in her. I want to believe she is Kellen. And yet, what if she isn't? Like so many of the great scientists who've reached the top, I, too, might very well be standing in front of the door to the truth. But what rationality my mind still grips has to has made me question, is it really truth that's behind the door? There are no scientific theories that can explain the concept of the soul. But Honkai God may very well have the answers I seek. What? Their envoys, the Hershers, has already appeared. 
According to the ancient records, the sixth Hersher, the Hersher of Death, has the power to switch souls. She may hold all the answers. And those answers can bring Kalan back to me, something I've only dreamed of these past 500 years. So, until I get my answers, I shall protect Honkai God? I won't allow the anti entropy to sabotage my plan. I'll kill her once I have everything I need. Wow. She, he is even more crazy than I thought he is. It's been like, I think around like a month since the last time I started recording this game. Not because I don't want to, but because I have been busy, alright? There is like a lot of indie games that I have to play. So yeah, you may have noticed here that I just jumped to level 51 right now. And with that, I managed to unlock pretty much all the features in the game. So all of these like small events over here. There has been three events that is going on right now. Arc Lightbound is an event with like a very great storylines. I am actually quite regretting that I cannot record it. Alright, so when we last left off last time, we are gonna go ahead and continue with the second chronicles which is i think this is for himeko <人が文明を持つようになってから>、<笑> 黄金の剣を担い、一人で崩壊の侵食に立ち向かった彼女は戦の末、自分の命と引き換えに魔人私有を旧友の中に封印した。その後、聖魂と剣炎剣は行方不明のまま伝説となった。ここ綺麗。キアナ、何してる?よそ見するな。少佐、洞窟の中から強烈な崩壊エネルギー反応を検出しました。1、形状、すべてデータと一致します。ここが旧友である可能性は34.2%です。よし、入ろう。Wait, so we are underwater? This is cool. Wow, this place is huge! Congrats concentration is extremely high in this cave. This might be the Nine Realms. That's great, Major Himeko. Major Himeko seems pretty serious about this mission. She usually just goes on a bender when she gets home. But ever since we took this mission, she's been researching till midnight every day. Kiana, you... We're still on a mission here, girls. Keep your fights at home. Alright, I'll let it slide this time, Kiana. Major Himeko, I'll repeat the mission briefing. Explore this cave. Verify it if it is the Nine Realms. If it is, you'll need to find the Shuanyan sword and stigma lost in this place. Understood. I've also found an advisor for this mission. Advisor? It's been a while, Major Himeko. Allow me to guide you through this mission. Oh, hello there, Fuhua. Fuhua? Well then. Ugh. Isn't she the annoying class monitor? <laughs> Fuhua was born in God's land. She knows everything about the Jian Sh Ji Shuan Yan legend and oh my god. Ask her if you have any questions. Godspeeds, girl. So, uh, God's land is actually a translation of Shenzo, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this should be like really easy because I'm like very over leveled for this one. Ow, oh, frick. So there is a reason why I usually don't include the gameplay in this kind of like story based uh, videos. Because I am actually rather a casual player. I don't really like optimize my team or something like maximum DPS kind of thing. I know there's, there's like some crazy combos that you can do with your team that can deal like easily like a thousand a million damage and i'm not that kind of players i'm just here to have fun with the story and basically enjoys all the uh, epileptic visual effect flashing here and there 
and yeah <laughs> if you come to me looking for like some like very top strats how to deal like the most damage then i'm afraid you are in the wrong place <laughs> i'm just here for fun may what do you think of the class monitor class monitor you mean fuhua yeah the uptight girl who was the best student of our class she passed the valkyrie trials very early on she's an a rank valkyrie we can learn a lot from her but but she's always lecture me i remember it was your fault every time kiana <laughs> you installed s beam games on hyperion's common hub and even made hot pot in the classroom whatever you always side with her may <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. By the way, Bronya, do you think Himeko cares about this mission a little too much? Kiana Idiotka. Hey, why are you talking in Russian again? <laughs> Subject Kiana is the only one who's unaware of this. Bronya shall provide Exhibit A. Annual Physician Physical Exam, Murata Himeko. This is Major Himeko's physical exam. She has poor Honkai adaptability. Nevertheless, she accepted an artificial stigma transplant that kept corrupting her body. The negative effects are reducing her lifespan. I didn't know. No wonder Teresa kept complaining about artificial stigma, how it would kill us despite the bare benefits. Can we do anything to help? The best means would be to locate a natural stigma to perfect sexual research and artificial stigmata. I've got this! Now that I know how important this mission is, the Kaslana blood within me is boiling once again. Hey, why are there anti-entropy tactical mechas here? Is anti-entropy looking for the Xuanyuan sword and the stigma as well? Interesting. Didn't expect anti-entropy to be here. Major Himeko, perhaps we should retreat for safety? I, I guess we have no choice. We should call up the mission. No way, Himeko! We can't back off now! This is a great opportunity! We can cure you! Cure me? No, I mean... Well, Himeko, this is the Shonyan stigma. The whole world will be... If anti entropy gets it, the world will be destroyed. Indeed, um, we'll continue the mission, but stay vigilant, girls. I have like a huge respect for Himeko. The fact that she wants to call off the mission that could actually extend her life for the safety of her student is just... My, that's a huge respect for me right there. This massive stone block, it looks like a door. Mm, what do you think, Fuhua? Humans made this door. And its dragons have been engraved onto it. Hmm. We found this place. Step back, girls. I'll split this with my blade. Wait, Major Himeko. We should use the mechanism correctly to avoid triggering any traps. I see a steel next to the door. The pictograph indicates the gate mechanism to be on either side. Sorry, that was real reckless of me. Let's split into two teams and find the mechanism. Alright. Uh, this is one key. Where is the key though? Oh, that's the second key. Okay. Hey, look! The steel has funny pictures on them. Square, equal sign, fish, axe. This must be it. Uwa, I'm sending you a picture of the steel. Alright, I'll take a look. One year ago, Ji Xuanyan entered the Nine Realms alone with her blade to seal Chi Yo. I tried to look for her body but failed to locate the Nine Realms in the vast ocean. But I couldn't find it, for the sea was too fast. I was about to give up. But the Jingwei bird keep looking. Eventually, we found this place. Jingwei led the way but passed away from sheer exhaustion. Aww, this story reminds me of my Sora back home. Sora? Who's this Sora? Bronya detects jealousy. Yeah, May, it's not like that. Sora was my cat. 
It has white fur and a golden tail. Drop the cat talk, girls. Fuhua, is there anything more? That's it for this tale. The last sentence did mention Jingwei leading the way. Alright then, let's find the next tale. This is the last stone still. I've got the image. I managed to reach this, reach this place, but couldn't find her body. I couldn't even find her sword. The only thing I could do for my wife is to erect these stills to tell her story, and build a statue of her Jingwei to keep her from spending an eternity alone. That's everything? Yes, Major Himeko. If the body's gone, then the stigma on it will be lost as well. This was a wild goose chase, dang it. I've never seen Himeko to be so upset. Wait, that statue looks like the Jingwei, right? Let's go and investigate. The statue? The steel did mention that Jingwei led the way, right? Perhaps there's a clue there. Okay, so now Kiana becomes a genius. Okay, the world is ending. <laughs> wow, this is a huge statue. Excellent masonry, but it's just a stone sculpture. Jingwei lets the leads the path forward. Maybe we'll find some hidden secret in this direction the statue is pointing. The bird is looking at this stone wall. Perhaps there is something hidden behind it. I'll check it out. Seems like a pretty ordinary stone wall to me. Filthy human, you found me at last. Hey, uh, who is that? The stone wall, it's shining. Honkai reading rising. The stone wall is responding to Major Himeko's Honkai energy. Get away from the stone wall, Himeko! What the? Major Himeko was sucked into the wall. If this wall sucks people with Honkai, it will do the same to us. After her! Wow, never expected such a fast pace to be behind and behind the wall. I can find Major Himeko. The sensors are not picking up anything. We'll search this place to find her then. Don't worry, it's Himeko. She'll be alright. Kiana, I just saw an inscription on that still. Those characters were used as a means to ward off evil. I'm curious about the purpose of this place. Tell me if you find anything. Understood. I can't get out of this place. It's making me angry. Bagua? What on earth is that? This place is like a maze. Have we been running around in circles? Ugh. This is getting on my nerves. Be patient, Kiana. You're smart, but impatience is your greatest weakness. It has affected your tasks and your missions. Are you trying to say something nice? I've managed to review data feeds in the last hour while you were walking around in circles. The design of this place was based on the Bagua... Bakua tree grams. Alright. Bakua? A special ceiling array used in ancient Shenzo. This cave must be hiding something. The exit is to the southwest, Kiana. How do you know? I've studied the esoteric gates of eight. I'll explain this later. Alright. Find three dex designated item. Um how would I do that? And of course your ninja is going to reset. Oh. Knock airborne. Oh, this this thing is crumbling. Okay. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's the second one. Come on. I cannot get a combo doing that. That's the third one. Awesome! We finally got out of the maze! You're super amazing, Fuwa. Thank you, Kiana. That Bakwa is super interesting. Another maze! I know! Let's head sideways again! Wait! Stop moving! What? Oops! I just stepped on something. The eight gates spell different omens. Your position is extremely dangerous. Um... Reach the end of the stage within the specified time. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Wait, there you go. And... 
Okay, 20 seconds. Can we skip this fight? Nope, apparently we cannot. Nope, not yet. Oh god, that's a lot of... Oh, nope, 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 nope. We have to get moving. That was close. That why is so complicated. Kiana, look. There's a golden sword over there. The golden sword? Could it be the legendary Xuanyuan sword? Turn out this maze was designed to protect this weapon. But the steel inscription talk about sealing evil. Wasn't Xuanyuan's sword used to fight the Hongai? Let's worry about that later. Let's get the Xuanyuan sword first. Meiko has been looking for it. It's floating in the air. We can't even reach it. Ronya noticed that there are three Jingwei statues from Xuanyuan's sword. Huh. Is it just me, or are the eyes of the statues glimmering? What do you mean? Hmm. Indeed. Jingwei led the way. We should take a look at the statues. Perhaps there is a mechanism. I guess there's no better way. Alright, we got a cutscene. Well, there's a sword. Um, I don't like that music. Oh, is she possessed? Yeah. Alright, Himeko, let's dance. Oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, that's phase one, I guess. What is that? Oh, we have to fight three enemies now. Okay. Why is it kind of like muted? The sound, I mean. That's not really that hard, though. Right? Okay, she is going to get out of the crystal again. Um, you look fine, though. Yeah, except for your clothes, which is kind of ripped. Up. Oh. Her soul, huh? Oh, frick. Don't want to get hit. That's it? Okay, there you go. What happened? Why did Himeko attack us? I have no idea why she would do that. Ronya can only pick up very weak vital readings from Major Himeko. Her body will not last for another 12 hours. Recommend immediate effect. Yeah, we should get out of here. We let Himeko regain her consciousness. Bad news, Kiana. Teresa, what happened? The satellite has picked up a large contingent of anti-entropy in the seas above you. Anti-entropy troops? I think they're going after the Xuanyuan sword. Leave the Nine Realms. I'm leading reinforcement and coming your way. TBA in two hours. Hang in there. Alright, trash. Don't bother trying to escape. We got this place around it. I'm Sin Mal, and I'm in charge here. And over the blade like the good obedient girls you are. Trash? Did that brat call us trash? Calm down, Kiana. They have surrounded us. Alright. Sin? You let us go if we hand over the blade, right? I ain't afraid of brats like you, but my friend is wounded. I'll give up a crappy sword to ensure her safety. Did I say I'll let you go if you hand over the blade? And I killed Trash, you call me a brat. Heard that, May? We'll handle lunatics like this with brute force. Okay, are we going to fight Sin? I have some beef with Sin because she is actually the reason why Bronya lost her leg and why she actually has to wear prosthetics. Hmm, two pats up ahead, which is the way out. Cool wind is blowing from the right. That should be the way out. 
Ronya detects heat emanating from the left passage. That will be a dead end. You have a point, Bronya, but I think the left path leads to the exit. Why? How do you explain this? Uh, let's call it the Castlana Hunch. Yana's hunch is a baseless claim. She never defeated Bronya in Old Maid. Her intuition is counterintuitive. That's cause I let you win on purpose. May, what do you think? You believe me, right? Bronya thinks May will trust in Bronya's judgment. May, May. All right, all right. Let's check both tunnels. So I have to make a choice, right? Okay, let's go with right. Or not, I guess. We have to fight this max first. That's the exit. Turn out both tunnels leads to the same exit. Bronya versus Kiana thing is so stupid. Babysitting is so tiring. Brave girls, the seal is undone. The monster will wake. I'm giving up my last powers to you. Please, you must seal her. Huh? What was that voice? I heard it too. Bronya heard it as well. Seal? What was that? Forget it. We should escape from anti-entropy first. Okay, we got some arachnids. Oh, frick. Right. Oh, frick. What the heck? What the? What is he doing? How can he hit me? Oh, frick. The shockwave. Of course. There you go. <laughs> Goodbye. Ah, sin now. Oh, that's the boss that I fought every week. Uh. Um, are we supposed to do something with that? That is like the final chapter, right? Yeah, that's the final chapter. What? Are we just going to let the Honkai creatures go free? Um, apparently we do. <laughs> Unless, of course, that there's like in the challenge mode, we have to actually get the true ending. Maybe, maybe, but so yeah, I think I'm going to finish this challenge mode uh, on my own and then after that I think we have to move on to the next part of this uh, canonical playthrough with the third chapter which is the poem of the wind and also chapter four which I do not know right now. I think oh this is it. Betrayal has a silver smile. But until then I think I'm going to leave you guys here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like if you do. If you want to see more of Honkai Impact videos, more of Genshin Impact videos, more videos of me playing indie games, then don't forget to subscribe. And with that, I think I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.